I get a phone call, and it says, "Hey, do you want to test these microphones for us?" You know, and it's like, "Okay, what are they?" You know, it's like, "Well, sure, you know, we've got this this new this new model, the uh, Nexodyne." So we we changed them on a gig. And we were like, we were talking like prototype, prototype. I remember the bass player coming down, like between like songs, like he was like, he had a break. He came down, he's like, what's different? And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, something's different. Like it's so much easier for me to sing today. A guy named Francois was, was uh, my right hand. He was teching for me. He had been telling me about this new capsule from Shure. And you know, most times in my life, gear doesn't blow me away. But that, it, I was blown away. What's special about Nexodyne is how quickly it can achieve the sound quality you want. The clarity and performance out of Nexodyne is immediately noticed upon plugging it in. I kept hitting a wall with where my live performance would sound. It would sound fine in my ears, but I would stop and be like, huh, that doesn't sound as good as I want it to. When we first tried the Nexodyne capsule, the thing that jumped out to me immediately was that it's very detailed uh, and very crisp in the top end without being overbearing. And it's the same thing in the mid-range, where you need the detail and the clarity to make the voice sit on top of the mix. When I tested the Nexodyne 8 capsule, I was like, whoa, this is what I'm hearing in my head. And I was like, that's exactly what I've been wanting it to sound like this whole time. It's got a very tight pattern, but it's wide enough that you can actually keep the singer in the sweet spot of the microphone and still have that great performance in front of a PA. The Nexodyne capsule, from a vocal standpoint, gives us the same vocal clarity as what you have on the album that you're listening to. What I found interesting right off the bat about the Nexodyne 8C was you were getting a lot of the benefits of a condenser microphone, yet with a whole lot less of the headache. We received four of the wired Nexodyne 8s and decided to try them out with our singers. Within about a minute, all four singers came back over here thanking us profusely at making it easier for them to sing. In the Opry setting, I use wedges so that we can hear each other and blend better. And oftentimes with other microphones, I've found that my voice gets lost in the wedges. And there's something about this microphone that cuts through. We all are using it and love it. It's a lot easier to make that kind of airy, cloudy background vocal section with these microphones. I think it's a bit more modern sounding than say a 58 or a Beta 58, which is nice. It's kind of the next step. And it also has that like really good rejection that just helps you get it above a mix in a really loud room. When I switch to the Nexodyne 8, I have less of the ambient noise from the room and more of the source that's intended for this capsule. The Nexodyne has changed our game. You don't have to EQ it to a point of sounding good. It just sounds good from, from the beginning. I have a sense of comfort. When I put that mic in his hand, I know it's gonna work. Having the Nexodyne just being able to give me everything, all that that I need from the get-go just makes my job so much easier. It makes you wanna sing 